Hill, make thee bound, and past yon fiend that he not flipped. And devil, I command thee, go down into thy cell where thou shalt sit. <laughs> I wallowed out of my wit. I sink into hell's pit. Ah, oh, Jesu, Lord, mickle is thy might that makes thyself in this man here us for to help as thou hast height when both forfeit I and my fear. Here have we live we are all light four thousand and six hundred year. Now I see this solemn sight how thy mercy has made us clear. Blessed be thou, Lord of life. I'm Eve. Adam's wife. Thou hast suffered stroke and strife for works that we have wrought. Thy mild mercy hath all forgiven. Death's dints on thee were driven. Thy bright blood hath us bought. We thank this great goodness. He fetched us from this place. Make joy now, more or less. O oh Lord God, for his grace. Adam. And my friends in fear, from all your foes, come forth with me. You shall be set in solace here, where ye shall ne'er a sorrow see. And Michael, mine angel clear, reserve these souls all unto thee, and lead them as I shall thee leer to paradise with play and plenty. <laughs> My grave go will I till, ready to rise upright, and there shall I fulfill all I before have height. you for certain we shall keep him with might and main and may no traitor with no train steal him as fro such sort will i swear be slain and laid right low yes sir we're already bound we shall keep him to our renown or ilk aside now let us sit down with all our gear and soon we shall go crack his crown who so comes here Since that I do watch this door. And at this door, so must I lie. And whoso comes here gets what for. <laughs> and I shall tend this door this tide, ere there come here both Jack and Jill. And I shall take the door this side, and whoso comes here shall I kill. <laughs> Hark, Sir Pilot, and listen to me. I shall thee tidings tell anew of one thing we must beware be, or else hereafter we might it rue. Thou wottest well how that Jesu 
He said to us in words full plain, he said that we should find it true, the third day he would rise again. If these disciples come certain and out of his grave steal him away, they will go preach and plainly say that he is risen the third day. Gentle sirs, ye did vouchsafe to go with me and seal the grave, that he might not rise out of the grave that is now dead. We grant. Well, let us now go. When it is sealed and washed also, then we be safe and without woe, and have of him no dread. Lo, here is wax, full ready dight. Set on your seal, anon full right. Then <laughs> you be sure, and now you plight, he shall not rise again. <laughs> on this corner, my um, <clears throat> seal shall sit. <laughs> With this wax, I seal his pit. Now, dare I lay, he may never flit. Out of his, uh, grave, certain. Here is more wax, full ready low. All the corners, ye seal also. And with four locks, lock it also. Then let us gang our way. <laughs> let these knights abide thereby, and if these disciples come privily to steal away this dead body, to us they bring them without delay. On each corner now is set my seal. Now is my heart in wealth or will. Now may no sort of hell away not steal this body from under this stone. <coughs> now, Sir Bishop, I pray to thee, and Annas also come with me. Even together, all oh, we three, homeward our way be gone. <laughs> My head dulleth, my heart filleth of sleep. Saint Mahound, this burying ground, thou keep. And I say the same. For any blame, I fall. Mahound's whelp, unto thy help, I call. <laughs> I'm heavy as lead. For any dread, I sleep. Mahound of night, this storm tonight, thou keep. I my oh my God, I begin to nod and sink. <laughs> Here I ask to go to task, a wink. Alas, to death would I be dight. Never in the world was there woeful a wight. My sorrow is all for that sight that I did see, how Christ my master most of might is dead from me. Alas, how stand I on my feet when I think of his wounds all wet. Jesus, that was of love so sweet and ne'er did ill, with bitter blows they did him beat, and for no cause him kill. For no cause the Jews, each one that lovely Lord to death has done, and trespass he did never none in no kind stead. To whom now shall I make my moan, now he is dead? Now he is dead, my sisters dear, Wend we will in mild manner, with our ointments fair and clear that we brought, to anoint his wounds all sear, the Jews him wrought. Go we then, my sisters free, for so me longs his course to see. But what I never, how best may be, help have we none, and who shall e now of us three remove the stone? That we do not, though we were more, for it is huge and heavy also. Sisters. We there no farther go, nor make mourning. I see two sit where we wend to in white clothing.
ye mourning women in your thought, here in this place, whom have ye sought? Jesus, that to death is brought. He is not here, the sooth to say. The place is void that he in lay. The sediments there see ye may that on him laid. He is risen and went his way, as he you said. Even as he said, so done has he. Through peerless power, he rose up free. He shall be found in Galilee, in flesh and bone. To his disciples, when now ye three, and make this known. My sisters dear, since it is so that he is risen, death us fro, as this angel did us show our Lord so free, Hence from here will I never go before I him see. Come, let us wend away from here to Galilee, now Niles near. Not till I see that faithful fear, my lord and leech. I say to you, my sisters dear, all this forth preach. As we have seen, so we shall say. Mary, our sister, have good day. Now very God, as well he may, man most of might. He wish your sisters well on your way and rule you right. Ah, alas, now naught hath any worth for me. My caitiff heart will break in three. When I think of his body free, how it was spilt. Through feet and hands nailed was he, and with no guilt. I, who loved that sweet lad so, that bided ilka braid and blow, and graven is in grit below, my bounteous boy. Unless we meet before I go, I'll ne'er know joy. What out, alas? What shall I say? Where is the course that here in lay? What ails ye, man? Is he away that we should tent? Rise up and see! A room! Hooray! What devil is this ails you to? <laughs> so is your noise and crying all the below. Why is he gone? <laughs> Alas, where is he that you're in lay? Well, oh, devil, I've got you away! Alas, what shall we do this day that thus this warlock is went away? And truly, sirs, I dare well say he rose alone. As a pilot, which of this affray we shall make moan? Can no moan and now be said? Well, there is no else, but we be dead. When that he stirred out of his stead, none could it ken. Alas, hard hap on my head amongst all men. For if the pilot once doth wit we were asleep when forth he flit, I tell you, sirs, we shall forfeit all life and limb. Then fake we tales, full ready fit to tell to him. That read I well, so might I go. I'd have sent there too, also. Then shall I say, a thousand foe we might and main came and took his course us fro and us near slain. Uh, methinks two thousand we shall claim. <laughs> Three thousand four in mounds, name. Five, six, seven thousand fierce foe came. Eight, nine, ten. Nay, less than fifteen does a shame. Twenty thousand men. 